I'm actually a firm believer on whatever you do behind closed doors is your business. You choose to go out publicly, just know publicly you give people the authority to speak on things. There's a certain situation online, which is not really a situation, but I just want to give a little bit of context on what I've been looking at, right? A buddy of mine sent me over a post. He said that this guy in Japan, you know, he, he felt like he didn't know who he was or what he wanted to be, which that's okay. You know, you don't know if you want to be a doctor or a lawyer or or let's say a, a, a McDonald's manager associate. You know, they, yo, they've been making bread out here nowadays. I don't know. Like back in the days, it used to be like $10 an hour. And apparently they're paying like 18 Damn. I don't know why. Yeah, where was that when I was going to school? Crazy. So this man by the name of Toko. Taco? To Taco. Toko. This guy spent over $2 million. Yen. Okay. It just sounds better in the title. But man, man spent 2 million yen to become a dog. <laughs> what? Okay. So I'm okay with the furry community. Hopefully, I, I think we established a really good relationship. Hope we were friends. See? You look, you look cute. You look good. You look good. Yeah, so this man, he, he, he basically spent $2 million, 2 million yen, again, good title, to become a dog. And the thing that's crazy to me is that I don't mind if you want to be a dog and, like, you know, with your friend group or, like, you guys have a group of people that you guys meet up and become dogs. You know, that's cool. Completely fine. Yo, we have, we have groups. We have communities. We have everything. But the minute you're just putting it out there, and try to communicate with other people's dogs, and then try to do some public stuff. It's weird. <laughs> and and you know what? And I I don't have an issue with it. You know, because at the end of the day, I consider myself a degenerate myself. That's why I feel like I can speak on these weird topics. It's like, hey, I I'm not definitely normal in the chromosome. But for you to spend over fifteen thousand dollars, fifteen grand. Think about it. You spent 50, I've seen amazing cosplays back in Anime NYC and all these anime expos and stuff, which had amazing shit, right? He spent 15 grand to look as humanly possible or as doggily possible to a dog. I'm going to be honest. It looks pretty scary. Like, like, okay, so it kind of does look very close to a dog, right? And I can commend the person and definitely have to say the 15 grand that he spent was definitely kind of well spent. But the way how I see it is that why? Sometimes you just want, you're just inspired. Like, you know, I honestly started talking to some people from like the My Little Pony community. And honestly, I'm definitely kind of obsessed with My Little Pony, but that's for another day. We're not talking about it now unless you write it down in the comment section down below. And don't forget to smack the like button. But like, yeah, the dude spent $15 million. $15 million. Holy shit, where am I getting my numbers from? He spent 15 grand to become a dog, which honestly, it's okay. You know, like, I feel as though no matter what, it's a costume. You know, you could take it off. But then he literally said, I think, and I quote, that he wanted to become, well, he didn't say anything. or probably barked it out. I don't know. But, like, the man literally was like, he always wanted to become a dog. He was deep down a dog on the inside, which honestly, shit. You know, back when I used to play football, like, we were supposed to be dogs on the field. You know, woo, woo. <laughs> you know, back, in, back on the field, we used to be dogs, you know, but... This man took it to another level, which, again, it's okay for you to do stuff behind closed doors and if you have your respected community. But then when you got dogs running away from your ass, then I think that there, there has to be a, a little bit of a miscommunication between you and other animals. Like, it's like, I, I don't know if it's cool. And the crazy thing is, is that the production team or the people who were following him, obviously you got the story because you had to put it out on the outlet. We couldn't just keep it to the internet. We couldn't just keep it to ourselves. We had to tell people about it. That, like, there went, and this lady's, like, treating, like, touching him, petting him, like, oh, good boy. And honestly, I'm not going to lie. I thought his character or the way how he's playing the role as a dog, I actually thought it was pretty good, you know? But then the minute he starts seeing the dog way, like, at least stay in character. Like, now I'm feeling weird. It's like I was watching it. I was impressed. But then I was slowly becoming less and less impressed and more weirded out. But then again, again, you do what you want to do behind the, the closed doors. You do what you want to do in the streets. But just know that if you put something out there on the internet, you put it out there for people to talk about slash ridicule. Not even ridicule. There's a better word. Slash 
observe. <laughs> there, there's, uh, there's a word there. I think, I think that's the word that I'm trying to use, but I just can't think about it right now. Thank you. But yeah, so uh, when you, you're in that kind of scenario, you start like, you know, thinking like, man, what have we become? <laughs> what have, what has society become? And at the same time, I don't have an issue with it. Like, uh, it's just like, I just feel like I wanted to talk on it because it was like, dude, man spent literally 15 grand on a really, really, really kind of cool dog costume. But at the same time, weird dog costume. And he, now he's out on the streets. He's loose out into the universe and openly just going and trying to interact with other dogs. It's okay, man. Shit. Like, I used to play a lot of freaking, uh, what do you call that? That, uh, 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 Nintendo dogs. I used to play a shit ton of Nintendo dogs, and I understand what it means to be an owner of a dog, and I understand what it means to want to be a part of the dog community, you know, because I was super, super obsessed with it. I don't know what my obsession was with that shit, man. I don't know. The game was kind of like crap. I'm trying to see if I could get into the Animal Crossing. I'm trying to see if I can probably get into that same algorithm of things, but then, like, for now... Yeah, dude, I was super obsessed with Nintendo dogs. And this man is just dogging around, you know, trying to just be a dog in real life. I support it. You know, I might be talking a lot of weird stuff, but at the end of the day, you do what you want to do. It's your life, bro. Like, you know, people who tell you to not be a dog, don't listen to them. Be a dog. You know, like, channel your inner golden retriever and start retrieving that freaking that I just spit onto the lens. I'm sorry. If you like a dog, man, go do what you gotta do. It doesn't have any issues with me, but I just saw that you said it's about 15 grand. I feel like you go to Party City and achieve the same effect with some other, like, costume there. But hey, you do what you do to make yourself happy, you know? It's 2023, man. You do anything you wanna do to mentally feel better about yourself, and you feel like a dog, you're a dog. Woo! <laughs> Anyways, yeah, man, like, is, uh, man spent 2 million yen to become a dog. Pretty cool, pretty interesting, but hey, I want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Please start a conversation with me, man, and also, while you're at it, like, you know, since you're down there anyways, go smack the like button, and also turn on post notifications if you guys want to see more stuff from your boy, but, uh, yeah, man becomes dogs, two million yen, two million dollars, crazy! Alright, I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>